Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be taking another look at AV Security Suit. We've already made one video on this. We're going to go ahead and make another one for for others to follow now. So what we did is we actually remoted into uh, somebody who asked us uh, on our RemoveVirus.org website for a little bit of help, and normally we can't provide this type of help to most people, but uh, uh, we decided to go ahead and make another video uh, for this because we're going to start a dedicated site on how to remove AV security suit because it's become such a problem. Now one of the first things we did is boot into safe mode and you can read more about that underneath this video we're going to have a guide on how to boot into safe mode and one of the first things we're going to go ahead and do is open up Internet Explorer and we boot it into safe mode with networking and that's very important. So I'm going to go down to Internet Options I'm going to go to connections, LAN settings. Now is what happened here is we already unchecked it so we could connect to the internet but what you're going to notice is most people are going to have that and that box checked. And so what we need to do is uncheck these boxes because you do not want to use a proxy server at all and that's what's blocking you from connecting to the internet. Now again we booted into safe mode with networking and that's very important that way we can download programs such as a Spyro Doctor with antivirus which is a client we recommend you use uh, to fully fix this problem and right now you would be able to download it and run it and, and just be done. Otherwise if you're looking more for a manual guide we're gonna go into that right now. We're gonna go ahead and hit the Windows Start button. We're gonna go to computer, C drive, documents and settings and again this is on XP on Vista and, and uh, Windows 7 it's just going to be users under the C drive and we're going to select the user account which is owner in this case and now is what we need to do is view hidden files and folders and in XP it's rather easy you can go to tools folder options view show hidden files and folders I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and in XP and Vista it's a little different but um, uh, we have guides on our removevirus.org website. Just go under the how to guides and you'll be able to figure that out. We have a detailed guide showing that and also a detailed guide showing how to reset the uh, proxy servers too as well. So now that I'm here I'm going to go under uh, application data and from there one second. Oh sorry getting ahead of myself. It's not application data it is going to be local settings. Uh, a lot of threats are under the app data folder right away. Uh, now we go under application data and what we're looking for is just a really odd named folder and it's going to be unique to your computer so in this case I look at this WMTDG and this just looks weird and, you know all these other ones make sense um, this one does not so I'm going to go ahead and open this folder and we'll notice in here it says that TSSD you're going to find that on the vast majority of these threats it's going to be TSDD and right there it's just going to be a random character number in front of it so yours will not say H-N-W-O-S-E-G uh, it may but chances are it will not so is what you can do if you were it didn't boot in the safe mode is what you can do at this point in time is right click on it Oh, let me go off of this right click on it hit rename rename it to whatever you want it, it does not matter and then you can reboot your computer and then delete it you will not be able to delete it uh, while um, you're in regular mode because uh, it's already going to be running uh, you'd have to reboot your computer after you rename it then log in normal then delete it and take care of that proxy setting too as well however in safe mode you can and uh, also in regular mode you may not be able to reset your proxy either so which is why we really strongly recommend you boot into safe mode with networking the point of booting in with networking is to actually give you access so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this now yes send it to recycling bin I'm gonna go up one folder I'm gonna go ahead and delete this folder too as well yes I went ahead and jumped over the remove virus uh, website now I'm gonna go ahead and just download uh, our recommended client which is fire doctor with antivirus We're going to let that download. And why we have a uh, Spyware Doctor installing, there's another client we do like to as well, and that's going to be Malwarebytes, and we do have that listed underneath our uh, antivirus software. Scroll down to it, and the graphics are going to be a little off here because I'm remoting into somebody else's computer uh, while they're in safe mode, so it's going to look a little different. And we have a uh, Malwarebytes right there uh, that you can go ahead and download to. And I would recommend you run a scan with both. 
uh, just to ensure that uh, um, it does catch everything. However, Spyro Doctor, uh, in all of our testings, has been able to remove this threat for us just fine. The only other option I can really recommend out uh, to a lot of people is going to be uh, onlinecomputerrepair.org, O-R-G, and we do have a, a link to them over in our sidebar too as well. And That is a remote computer repair company. They're very good at what they do, very good prices, and uh, they have a no fix, no fee guarantee. So if they can't fix your issue, you don't pay, but uh, um, it, they're going to be able to fix your issue, especially if you have a virus. Uh, they're very good at what they do. It's a very reasonable cost, one of the best around, and uh, they all have uh, experts that are based in the U.S. here. So uh, you're going to be dealing with somebody good. We like them. We've been recommending them out for many, many years now um, just because they are a very solid company. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what the scanners. So we're using the uh, Spyro Doctor with Antivirus Client now. We just went ahead and ran a full scan with it. And I'm having to do a voice overlay just because the audio cut out on uh, the computer that we remoted into. But that's all right. So if we take a look at the infections that we have on the system here, you're going to see quite a few of them aren't even related to the AV security suit on here. And the reason for that is, is there's a lot of secondary infections on this computer. So it's very important to run a full scan, even if you follow a written guide and or the the manual one here as well you still need to run a full scan or at least a partial scan of Spyro Doctor with antivirus just to ensure that you don't have any other threats installed on your computer and if you purchase the client all you would have to do if you registered it is just hit the fix button and basically it all be fixed for you. If, however, if you're somebody who wants to do it for free and want to manually go in, you're going to have to manually go in to the Rendos registry and the like to actually make the repair. So if you look at this right here, you're going to have uh, several registry keys. These are the keys that have to be repaired themselves. And these are the keys in which you're going to have to actually go into the registry and delete and that's why we really recommend that you actually use software you need protection anyway so you don't get infected again so you know irregardless you need a security client if you don't have one this is the one for you and so what we we are going to go ahead and do is we're going to go in and actually show you how to delete one or two of these traces uh, in the registry if we can do it here we're going to hit run we're going to type in reg edit And this can be bring up the registry editor for us. And once again, we do apologize. We are fixing this on the fly, uh, remoting it to somebody else's computer. So the graphics aren't going to be the best. The audio may get choppy on us and quite a bit of us. So we're following this path, H key local machine, software, AV suit. And we're going to go ahead and delete that whole entire folder. If you want, you could just delete that one trace in there, but you might as well just take care of the folder. I'm going to go ahead and select yes. And as stated before, we don't recommend people actually go into the Windows registry. Uh, this is just uh, more of an educational guide than anything else, but we'll go ahead and show you how to uh, just do, do an export of that folder of the registry before you go to edit it. So just right click on the HP local machine or whatever it is you want and just hit export and then save it to a known file location name it the HP local machine and then today's date. That way you can just import that back into the registry in case you really screw things up. Uh, next we're going to go ahead and look at uh, the next file path and we're actually running out of time here so we'll be able to edit uh, we can only do 10 minutes here on YouTube so we'll go ahead and browse down to this file location real quick delete it and that's probably going to be about it for this video and by by now uh, you should know generally how to kill this threat we showed you the folders and everything like that uh, and, and some of the registries use Spyro Doctor with antivirus run the scan see what else you're infected with uh, besides that, you should be good. If you need advanced help, uh, look at uh, onlinecomputerrepair.org. Uh, they are the sponsors of our videos, too, as well. And it's, it's a great company. We've been recommending them out for years just because they do a really good job for us.
it's under the software, AV suit, and you're going to notice that there's going to be quite a bit of the infections in that folder. So everything in that folder needs to go. So we're just going to go ahead and delete that whole entire folder. Uh, that's it. Uh, if uh, you need more help, feel free to head over to RemoveVirus.org. We also have the written guides there too as well, and they are sure to help. Uh, take care.